For about 60 years in the 1800s, the old Santa Fe Trail was an important trade and settlement route to the Old West. Today, more than 100 years later, the 950 miles of the trail got some very special recognition and a new designation. We go now to Anthony Moore, who is at the trail near Springer, New Mexico. Anthony? Nathan, I'm standing on the trail itself, and behind me is a hospital, vintage 1865, that served soldiers and wagoneers alike when it was open. From 1820 until 1880, when the railroad came, this was the main highway for Anglos West. Now, it's a National Historic Trail. There was a certain irony to the bill signing today. President Reagan's association to the Santa Fe Trail goes back a ways to 1940, when he co-starred with Errol Flynn in the movie Santa Fe Trail. Well, we had a nice ride, both ways. So many settlers used this trail to pioneer the West, wagon wheel ruts remain today. Fort Union, north of Las Vegas, was named after the joining of two branches of the trail. Its soldiers guarded thousands of wagon trains. More recently, Santa Fe photographer Joan Myers photographed the historic trail. Her images portray its beginning in woodsy Missouri, widening as it blazes through flat, open Kansas, and on. The Santa Fe Trail, it was a golden opportunity. People went to make money. That was part of it. And they were well prepared for their journey. And they talk about every night where they camped and what the trail looked like. And it's very easy to go back to those places and feel what they were like in the 19th century. In the 20th century, the trail is lost in all but name in many places, and the town which gave its birth and sits at trail's end now remembers it mainly with a marker. The historic designation for this trail means that the National Park Service now will manage it, they will mark it, and that will bring in more tourists. In New Mexico alone, the estimates are that 160,000 more tourist dollars will come in each year. Well, Anthony, I know a lot of us here in New Mexico want to see a lot of this trail. It would be impossible maybe to go the whole 950 miles, but how do we get to where you are right there? Well, if you're going by wagon train, Nathan, it's going to take you about 20 days just to get to Santa Fe. However, if you've got an automobile, take I-25, about 20 miles north of Las Vegas, you'll see a Fort Union turnoff. All right, great. Thanks very much. Anthony Moore reporting live along the Santa Fe Trail. Well, what do you say, Nathan? Let's go hitch up the horses, I'm, I'm huh? I'm ready to go. That would be fun.